Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has already announced their scorecard for CSIR June or July 2024 exam and uh, I hope you have already downloaded your scorecard, you have already seen your scorecard and uh, the new thing which is introduced this time in the scorecard is a percentile system and a lot of students are having difficulty with it to understand what exactly it means and uh, to discuss about that what is the safe rank, what is the safe percentile. So, and I also saw many students uh, like they have sent me some videos, they have sent me some way of calculating the rank. So, I thought of making a video where I can discuss about that, that what exactly this percentile system is, how you can calculate your rank and why the normal method of calculating rank is just approximate method, it is not the absolute method. You cannot calculate your absolute rank based upon the formula or based upon the maths. Okay? So, we are going to talk about everything in detail. I hope you will uh, learn many things from this particular video. But uh, let us get started first of all. So, this is the official website of CSIR. I hope you have already downloaded your scorecard. In case if you have not done, you can do that from the link uh, which is there in the description and after there you have to click here and uh, like provide your application number, date of birth and you will be able to see your scorecard. Okay? Now, what I wanted to show you was your, in your scorecard, there is a section for percentile. Okay? There is certain percentile given to you. Every student has total marks and total percentile. Subject wise or section wise percentile is also there and there is total percentile. So, how to use that particular percentile to calculate the rank that is what we are going to talk about and why is that does not work that also I will tell you. So, first let me show you that there was a public notice which was declared by CSIR uh, and here you will see that they have mentioned that how many students appeared for a particular exam. I am going to talk about chemical sciences. So, in chemical sciences the exam held on 27th of uh, July 2024 in shift 1, just one shift exam. I mean the exam was just conducted in one shift and there were total 50,009 students that registered for the exam but only 36,315 students appeared. It is actually a big number and if you see uh, the other subjects you will find out that after life science, chemical science is the another subject which has highest number of students appearing for it. So, this is the second most uh, competitive subject for CSI net exam. All right. Having said that, uh, this is the number which is actually very important 36,315 because this says that these many students, these are the total number of students that appeared in that particular exam okay, and that particular shift. Now, for life sciences students, the thing is or the way is can be different. I am not going to talk about that. I will stick my analysis to chemical sciences. Okay. So, let us get back to the result. So, if you see your result, there is a note which is given very like in a very bold way they have mentioned over here that the percentile score of a candidate has been calculated as follows. Okay? Uh, it is uh, 100 multiplied by the number of candidates that appeared in the session with raw score equal to or less than the candidate and divided by the total number of candidates that appeared in that session. Okay? So, that is how they have calculated it to find out the uh, percentile. So, let us say if the number of candidates that appeared in the session with raw score equal to or less than the candidate that means these are the number of students who have either scored equal to your marks or they have scored less than your marks. That means they are either uh, equal to you in the marks level or they are below you. Okay? They, are, they are not ahead of you. So, you are ahead of these many students or you are ahead and equal to these many students that is what it means. So, technically this is telling you that how many students you have crossed in the score. So, if let us say I will just take an example of somebody has commented their rank, uh, they have just sent their rank to me. So, I was told that uh, Supriti, Supriti has got 112 marks, Okay, she has shared in the comment section that is why I am taking her data to explain it in the video. But yeah, 112 marks and she has got 99.107 percentile. Okay. Now, understand that this percentile, what they have mentioned that goes up to 3 or 4 digit, 3 or 4 decimal digits because the number of students are so high. So, even like a third digit or a fourth digit after decimal can make change in the, in the 
uh, rank or something okay so that's why they have mentioned it in that way so let's consider that this is the percentile which she has got so if i put that everything in the formula let's say let's let's summarize the formula in a way so the formula goes something like this so we have percentile let's say percentile is p is equals to 100 multiplied by number of students which are which are basically up, which has appeared in the session and which have marks equal to or less than you let's call them as n okay and divided by total number of students that is t okay so we know certain values that t is equals to 36315 right that's the number which we have uh, that's the number which we have already and we already know percentile if we are able to calculate the number of students which are equal to or less than you then you can calculate your rank your rough rank okay again i'm saying this is rough value of your rank so if i put over here for supriti if i put the values here so it is 99.107 is equals to 100 multiplied by n we don't know divided by 36315 so n will be simply your 99.107 multiplied by 36,315 and divided by 100, okay. So, if I use this value in the calculator, uh, in the Google calculator, I will show you if I put this value and if I solve it, let us see how much value we are getting, okay. So, we have 99.107 multiplied by 36,315, okay, and we are going to divide this number with 100. So, we are going to get 35,990, okay. So, we have got a value of 35,990, okay. That is the rough value which we have got. So, these many students are either equal to her or below her. So, how to find out the rank? So, to find out the rank, just you have to subtract from T this value, okay, 36, uh, sorry, 35,990. So basically 36,315 minus 35,990. So if you do that, if you do this maths basically and if I copy this value and 36,315 subtracted by the value which we have 990. So this gives a rank of 325. So she has got a rank of 325. This rank which we have calculated here is a rough rank, okay. Why I am saying because see many students are calculating their rank based upon this and they are getting in attention that I have got such a low rank, I have got let us say at per, even at percentile 98 point something their rank is like 400, 500, 600 and they are having unnecessary tension for that. See. The thing is that these many, this says that 325. Uh, is the rank or these are many students are ahead of her okay these many students are ahead, ahead of her now the among these 325 so this is 325th is her rank 324 other students are ahead of her now these 324 students it is only for that scenario if all of them have different ranks let me explain you this thing okay let me explain this thing in very detail that that's how it will make sense to you Okay, so the marks which we were discussing, the marks which she has got is 112 and the rank which we have calculated according to us was 325, right? So that means if let us say her rank is 325, somebody might have got 324 marks, uh, sorry rank, okay? Somebody might have got 323 rank, 322 rank, 321 rank, 320 rank, something like that. So, their score should be more than her. So, it should be either 113, 114, 115, 116, 117. If you add 325, if there are 300 students above uh, ahead of her and if every rank has or every distinct score has a distinct rank, add 300 to this, total becomes 412. But the exam is only of 200 marks. So, it is never going to happen that all of the students have distinct rank. Okay, that is what I want to make this thing very clear to you. So, actually what is happening or what is going to happen that this rank which we are predicting is not correct. Okay, this is an approximate rank that okay, this is the lowest uh, or sorry, this is the highest rank which she might 
can get okay her rank can never be above 325 but how you can get absolute rank that you cannot calculate okay that data we don't have here so you have to wait for the final result of csir and you have to wait for that to see that how much rank you have got that, tell, let, let me tell you how it will happen see there will be a score which will be let's say 100 and uh, 113 so there will be like at 113 there will be 10 students so all these 10 students will have same rank okay they will have same rank in the same way at a certain more uh, like uh, marks there will be more than one students and they all will have same rank so her rank can never be more than 325 and her rank which i predict it should be under 200 okay so this is how you should not take the mathematics which is being circulated over the internet absolutely and you should not think of that as your rank okay don't use maths in a way because that is like this mathematics which is being done math is correct that is not wrong but the analysis which we are coming into or the, res or the, the final response or the result which we are coming into that is not correct i hope this thing is clear to you that with that formula you cannot calculate your rank and you cannot predict your rank directly okay i hope that that is clear to you now coming to that what is the safe rank or how many seats we have uh, and all the other things for that we have to analyze previous year result okay so i have just done one analysis of the previous year exam i think yeah, i have this one all right so this particular exam is uh, CSIR December 2023 exam which is the last CSI net exam and I have the the, uh, the result of that okay so I have downloaded it from internet and you will see that over here you have roll number and rank this is how you are going to get your result just in next few days CSIR is going to uh, uh, like upload the result like this now the thing is again here the, res, res, uh, the rank is not subject wise so you cannot decide that which subject or which rank belongs to which subject but what you can see is uh, if you look upon rank and roll number there you can see a particular higher I means highest rank up to how much rank they select for jrf okay so the first list is for csir uh, jrf net okay so these are like csir jrf basically so those who have qualified csir jrf so you will see that you even have a rank of 306 so even people with 306 rank are present there okay so even if your rank is around 300 that is also you can get jrf in that rank also okay so i just wanted to give you idea and in that year i remember that the number of jrf seats were decreased okay they were reduced to 100 and, uh, 1424 i have actually made a video on this you can watch i will give you link in the i button that the number of seats were decreased over there so considering that you should not first of all calculate your rank from the formula directly and don't get tensed okay you cannot calculate your rank with that formula you can get a maximum value that okay of i my rank cannot go more than this my rank will be less than that but you cannot get your absolute rank you cannot calculate how many students are ahead of you or uh, you can actually calculate how many students are ahead of you but you cannot calculate your rank okay that is not possible and i hope that point is very clear to you just to give you idea that what is the safe rank so even at 300 see 295 uh, we don't know for which subject it is but yeah we can assume that this is for chemistry and we can assume that even for 250 rank if your rank is around 250 you are like in the safe zone and you might qualify for jrf okay this is for csir jrf then you have uh, for ugc jrf also you will see that you have ranks around 300 so that means and you know that csir and ugc jrf actually they share the number of students so for jrf i think 300 is a score or 300 is the rank where you can be sure about and um, yeah i think this does not make much sense because if and you cannot calculate your rank you cannot say about anything else okay so i i'll wrap up the video over here i just wanted to give you a sense of relief that you cannot calculate your rank just wait fingers crossed pray to your god just just you know don't take that much of tension from whatever you see on internet all right okay so see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care and uh, i will see you soon in the next video take care bye bye